Can you hear the rain? It's absolutely chucking down right now. Hey, how's it going, folks? So, my little shadow, Beanley and I are off on another wild camp. Um, had a wonderful time doing a stealth camp at the beginning of January. I go up and see that video. That was my first stealth camp. But um, there's a bit of a prediction of rain today, so I um, got my jacket and the cover on. I um, hope to find a nice little site to stay beside a stream, um, something that has some views and um, something that is not going to get flooded out because <clears throat> I think the rain's going to be pretty heavy tonight. Anyway, Karen watching, we'll uh, take you through some stunning central North Island bush and uh, we'll be back with you real soon. It is seriously humid today and even Bentley's really feeling it. Honestly, it's like being in a sauna. Can't wait to get to my side so I can get my jacket off and start cooling down. So we found a nice stream. Now it's just a case of uh, finding somewhere that's a little bit flat. A bad spot. I'm just gonna keep looking for about another 10 minutes and see if we can find something else. Good for you. Little pool. And there's a lovely little peninsula area. What do you reckon, Mr. B? I think we found our spot. <laughs> well, folks, um, I think we found our spot. It took a while. It's a little bit rugged in here, but um, bought a spade, so I'll just try to level things up and clean it up a little bit but I think what I'm going to do is I'll try to put my Stealth Raider XL tent through here and um, maybe I'll make this um, where I'm going to cook up we'll come back to you soon because this might take a little bit of time to figure out the configuration don't go away now you here. Well folks, I, um, I'll try this first. I'll just grab the footprint of my tent and just see if this is um, going to be able to make it. My tent, which is the Rado XL, is actually got quite a small footprint, so um, we might be able to get away with this. What do you think, Mr. B? 
It was a bit of work, wasn't it now? Hey? Yeah, he's just he's just loving loving being out in out nature. Right. Well that's the footprint. It's about right. And everything is gonna get so muddy. Hey! Get the tent up. I think what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll put it on time delay. You don't need to see me fluffing around doing this. The tent set up, the uh, ultralight fly is uh, set up um, just in case it does rain. This is going to leave me um, a nice little area around here that I can cook just in case it does rain. As you can see uh, Bentley's very happy. Um, look there's plenty of it around so don't judge me but I've cut a few punga leaves down because uh, last time I did a wild camp um, it just got so jolly muddy um, so this should just help that a little bit look I'm just going to um, set up my sleeping gear so this is my Xpeed mat uh, this has a, a rating I think it's a rating of 2.5 this is my bushcraft kit if you like um, it kind of has everything inside it and one of the things um, that I have in it which I haven't really shown I don't think yet um, I purchased this for Christmas for myself Merry Christmas to me <laughs> is the um, is the Flextel I think it's the Model 2 version alright let's um, plug this in Turn her on. Um, so this is just going to. Um, I didn't actually have a pump bag that that uh, was compatible with this size nozzle, um, and the fixie tail. Well, I mean, it is really that quick. It is seriously that quick and it just really saves you putting um, your moisture inside this uh, which might cause that to get mouldy. Anyway, so that's my mat. It's a great colour isn't it? Um, I only bring the one nozzle uh, for the fixed tail uh, which is all I need. And um, look, this little bushcraft kit, which is made by um, Katmandu, um, look, I think it's just, um, I think it's more like a toiletry type bag, but I paid $2 at an op shop. And uh, it just clips onto the, what's left? Uh, once again, I think this is um, a Kmart dry bag. They're a little bit heavier. Uh, that's my toiletries and uh, my full first aid kit. Always carry a full first aid kit. Um, so just so I know where everything is, this goes inside the little side vestibule in my tent. Um, and in this so I tend to colour code things so red is kind of emergency. Uh, might as well get these things out now. This is my lamp. This should be my headlamp. So it's good to get these things out during the day. 
and I'll stick that above my actually maybe I won't it just fell on my head but I'll put that in the top pocket well folks it's um, 4.30 it's not very typical of me to be set up um, in plenty of time but um, let me show you around The alcohol stove I'm going to use is my triangle trangier. So literally that's how flat they are and um, probably make a numpty of myself trying to put this together but they just clip in somehow. <laughs> there you go sort of made out of spring steel I think um, and then there's this little ring that the Trangier stove sits in I tend to put that in afterwards really really robust and in my bushcraft kit um, I carry this in a little uh, sack because sometimes uh, methylated spirits has leaked out. I have put a new o-ring in it um, and it does tend to taint everything so that's my Trangier stove for my triangle Trangier so that's one cooking system and that's the second cooking system there. We will get that going a little bit later on tonight I'm probably going to need a knife. I will probably need a lighter. Okay, so that's everything out. I'll um, I'll just show you around. I'll stand back so you can see it from a distance. Uh, this is the string. A little pond down there if I wanted to have a bit of a swim. And yeah, so this is my campsite, this will be my um, kitchen, a torpedo 7 seat, oh that's a great thing, the Kia stash to carry all my rubbish, and uh, this is my bushcraft kit. Of course this is the um, intense outdoors or awesome XL Raider tent. Honestly, uh, these are on sale at the moment. They're about only 180 New Zealand dollars. It's a one-person tent, and um, as you can see, um, even Bentley um, <laughs> loves sleeping in here. So it's got this neat little vestibule down the side, and that's where I just keep everything, just so I know where it is. And uh, there's a pocket um, at the front. And at the back what is really amazing with this tent is that it is well apart from the price is that it's 230 centimeters long so um, guys if you're something like about seven foot I think you're going to be able to fit in this one and um, that's pretty hard to find even my ND1 and um, if you've watched my videos you'll see that um, I tend to pull the sides away with sticks just so I've got a little bit more head and foot room anyway let's have a bit of a look around so um, the radar has got this ventilation at the end and it's got these uh, lovely little tensioning hooks. Um, what I've done here, just in case it does rain and comes 
off this bank I've created a little bit of a stop channel um, to catch the water and then just move it around the side um, this is my ultralight fly I think for memory it's only around about 350 grams uh, it's a 3x3 three three. Um, once again it's made by Awesome um, New Zealand company Intense Outdoors Look, can I recommend that company um, it's really good gear and it's very well priced gear um, the fly um, comes with its own little tensioners so um, in my case um, I have these carabiners um, at the other end and so you just pop that around whatever and you do all the tensioning um, app at the fly so it's really really easy um, so in this case I'm using a central ridge line um, between these two trees and um, I'm using a prussic knot um, and the fly once again is using from out uh, intense outdoors again uh, these great little carabiners uh, which you can purchase and um, I just clip the fly onto the prosthetic knot and as you can see there's one in the middle and one at the far end the beauty with the prosthetic knot is um, the self tensioning so you can pull that and it tensions itself and that's why I love that system so if it was to rain um, I could possibly pull this down to create um, a bit of a, a flow I might even just do that um, before I go to bed tonight um, and really that's about it well look I'll show you my camera system so I purchased this umbrella for two dollars from an op shop if you haven't guessed already I really like op shops and um, it's just a case of um, I just use this stretchy cord really um, around the camera and voila it's done so two dollars if it does rain and um, my camera system is gonna be all good alrighty um, the Trangier triangle with a Trangier alcohol meth burner um, the Handiwear uh, picnic stove which I purchased uh, recently from an op shop for a dollar and we'll kick that and get that going and uh, this is actually a Trangier um, kettle which I purchased from an op shop for five dollars um, last year and I'll get going once I put this on the stand and um, sadly I've had an injury with uh, the tripod so that's unfortunately about an $80 expense um, and I'll open this up and show you uh, my coffee system all right oh here's something else um, that is new which I've purchased is um, this is a carbon pole and um, probably didn't super need it but I was just trialing it out for the first time and um, pulling the weight down and making this a lot more stable and um, I'm connected to that tree over there and this fly is connected to that tree over there but yes it's an ultralight uh, pole and um, which you would um, be able to use to set up your fly. Hey Bentley, you tired? Hey, you tired, little man? We are going to go up there and see where we come out. Man, that is straight up. Bit of a gully there, I might, might come up this ridge line. So folks, if you ever wondered whether or not I truly do wild camp, yet there ain't no tracks around here. The campsite's down there somewhere. Yeah, this is pretty dense. That's my little shadow getting on. Come on buddy, you're doing so well. Back to the tent buddy, show me the way. Alright, I think that's probably an easy way to come in in the future if we ever come to this camp again.
Let's get some wood on the board. Let's try out this. little picnic stove again. Um, I'm going to do a video on how to de-rust this. <laughs> it's a bit gimmicky, <laughs> but it's really cool. This is my percolator, my little coffee percolator. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, man, why don't you just grind it at home? Well, to be honest, this is a little bit for the video. Oh, I didn't think through this. Yeah. That's a bit of a numpty mistake. There is only one way to do this, and that would be to use a couple of tent pegs to sit this on. It's just starting to spit. Um, popcorn. I don't know how old this is. I think I used this a couple of years ago. So. Right, it is actually starting to spit. That's pretty good. It's not quite your dinner time, Mr. B. Bentley, um, we've never fed them human food. I think um, from time to time, as we've had house guests, they haven't realised that and they might have sneaked a little bit under the table, but. Um, the thing with Bentley is he's not going around scrounging for food all the time like our uh, Jack Russell bent, uh, Jed did. So I can be eating this food and he's curious but he's not scrounging for food. It's just a really good way to teach your dogs some discipline. You know what, this is actually a really good snack. It's 6.30, I think we will um, get some dinner on. Um, so tonight we're going to have bacon buns, now if you didn't see it go to my playlist, my shorts playlist and see how I got uh, this pan cleaned up after I made um, an absolute mess of it beginning of January when I made a uh, caramelised um, onion. We should heat up these buns. We toast them up and that'll leave one for tomorrow. Pretty good. That does that bacon.
Uh -uh. Right, so these uh, tomatoes, I have to say, were supplied uh, by some friends of ours um, in our community, the Parkies. Um, they wanted me to make mention of that. <laughs> Homegrown tomatoes. How good is that? Need a little bit of uh, beetroot. Organic lettuce. Right, so it's just starting to rain, so I'll just plonk these together and then get everything out of the rain. And we're just about to boil here. So we'll have a cowboy coffee there. Snuff that out. Put some coffee in here. That brew. And then we'll get ourselves a coffee again. Hi guys, it's uh, starting to get a little bit dark and probably for filming, so I'm going to have tea. Bentley's going to have his tea, and then we're going to retire for the night. Can you hear the rain? Actually not too bad. I better get my gear better get my gear out of the out of the rain. Needs a bit of mayo, but otherwise that's a brilliant. That's a brilliant burger. Absolutely chucking down right now. But um, I think I've done a really good job of setting up this fly right from the get go. Um, I've just altered it a little bit on one corner just to make the water pour out over to, um, over to that side rather than coming out onto the back of my tent. 
Um, yeah, so I'll just sit here and enjoy my awesome cup of coffee. As I say, it's getting a little bit probably too dark to uh, video. And if there's any further developments, I'll, um, I'll come back to you and let you know. But what do you think of this rain? So um, because we're under cover here, um, I've got the tent door open and on the bank on the other side of the stream there's just lots of glowworms, it's really really lovely. Anyway, so um, we're signing off here, it's still raining and not as heavy, um, it's really humid and um, but it's just getting a little bit hard to video because of the light, so um, Bentley and I will say Good night, and we'll catch you in the morning now. Good morning, Mr. P. Hey. Did you get a bit cold last night? Hey. I felt you shivering. Hey. A bit warmer now, sleeping, sleeping in Dad's sleeping bag, eh? Hey. It's a day like. Hey. comes in from a coffee grind. If you haven't seen one of these before, um, go and check them out. Just keeps all my rubbish in one place. Let me go and get some water. You're making a fine noise, Billy. <laughs> It doesn't make a funny noise, but... Oh, he's good, this
I'm not going to be beaten. Not really a fan of this uh, brand new non-stick Mac Pack pan, and I've just uh, badly melted the back of it as well. I might have to rethink my ultralight pan. It doesn't look overly pretty, but let's see what it tastes like. It's pretty good. Well folks, I'm just going to finish off my breakfast and pack everything up and then um, I'll come back to you. Look, this quite likely might be where I finish up, so if you're still watching so far, then thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, this video will come out after um, I did a clean-up mission um, from a wild camp that I did previous to that, um, so I pulled out 19 uh, glass bottles and some plastic, so that video will be up next, and then this one, so this will probably come out in about 3-4 weeks time, so please hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and uh, yep, Outdoorsman Dave can be rest assured that you'll see a lot more from him um, in 2024, thanks for watching now, oh hey look, a little bit of damage has been suffered and um, so I don't know how that gift thing works but it's at the bottom of the description somewhere if you've really enjoyed this and you'd like to help me um, fix some of this gear up then every little bit counts so thanks so much for that and I really appreciate all your views and any of your comments um, just love to hear from you and I'll respond it may not be the end of this video but if it is thank you so much for watching We'll catch you again real soon now. Clever boy, don't you?
folks, uh, we're going to leave it off here. Um, we're going to head up this way. Uh, we've been up this way, so we know where that goes. Um, but I'm going to see if I can hike out um, via this non-track road. So look, um, thank you so much for watching. Um, gosh, I did a TikTok last night. Um, I do have Wi-Fi coverage here. And I think I've got something like about um, 49 new followers. So very humbled by that. Um, I would like to see my YouTube channel Outdoorsman Dave grow a little bit in 2024 as well. So if you've been watching for a while, you know my style. It's a little bit of dry humour. Uh, it's largely a teaching channel as opposed to just pure entertainment. Don't do too many camping in the rains, but um, uh, depending on how this one goes, well maybe I'll just put up with um, all this mess uh, that I've now got to clean up uh, when I get home. But Hey look, I'm raving now, so or ranting I should say. So look, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Um, really appreciate you you following me, your loyal following and your likes. Uh, I really love um, answering your comments, so um, you know what to do. Hit that like. If you haven't subscribed, hit that button and the bell. And uh, Bentley and I, and we'll catch you on another, hopefully a wild camp or a tramp again real soon. Thanks for watching now.